Welcome to another video from Dainty Bite. This is Mona and this is my kids absolute favorite wrap bread. I made chicken shawarma the other day and this is the bread of choice. It's really amazing. It requires absolutely no effort, very little time in the kitchen. Let me show you how to make it and let's get started. This bread doesn't have yeast, doesn't have baking powder. It's basically bread flour, salt and water. You're gonna start with two cups of bread flour. Add to that half a teaspoon of salt, mix well and then start adding the water. You're gonna add about half a cup to a three-fourths cup of water. Four to five ounces. You want the dough to be a little sticky, not too too tough. But every flour is different. It might need a little less or a little more water. I'm gonna stop right there, knead the dough for two to three minutes or until very soft. I let it rest for half an hour or an hour. So it's a touch sticky like you see here. Add some flour at the bottom of the bowl. Cover and wait for an hour. One hour later, you're gonna take equal amounts of dough, roll very, very thinly. It should roll very easily because it's rested. That's really the advantage of resting the dough. Make sure to use lots of flour on the board and on the rolling pin. It should almost be transparent. This is how thin you want it. Now let's talk cooking method. The best way to cook this bread is stove top using a cast iron. The next best thing is to use a nonstick, a dark nonstick pan. But I really prefer the cast iron preheated to very, very high temperature. Don't add any oil or anything. Add the bread and it's gonna cook in seconds. Flip on the other side. You're gonna know when it's ready. It's gonna develop a little bit of color. Flip on the other side, 10 to 15 seconds, and it's ready. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube yet, please check it out, subscribe, like, share, hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my recipes. Follow me on social media. The links are gonna be in the description box below. I like to clean the excess flour, in between, I use a paper towel, kitchen paper towel to do that. Add one more and cook so quickly. As you can see, it's already ready to be flipped. Remove, make sure to cover the bread to stay warm and soft. This is a very strong bread that's stretchy and great as a wrap. You can fill it with whatever you want. It doesn't tear easily. You can add butter, oil, grill or toast and it's amazing. It's the perfect wrap bread. The kids love it. Enjoy as is or griddle to perfection. This amount will make six to eight wraps, depending on the size. Use for shawarma or use for any kind of vegetarian wrap, falafel, you name it. Give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. And until next time, bon appétit.